welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. We're at the 2024 Overland West in Flagstaff, Arizona, and we're here in the Overland Gear Guy booth with Rob, and we're looking at his new Ineos. Now, like Rob's been a friend of ours for a while. If you guys check the link in the description, we'll give you a code and all that kind of stuff. But this Ineos, man, I'm in love with it. So Thanks tell us. Look, buddy. <laughs> I can't get enough of that, really. Very cool. So let's take a look at it and then let's show some of the stuff that you already have okay. for the Ineos. Right. Grenadier. Let's go. Okay, so tell how did you get your hands on this, first of all? So real quick. I, I got mine from uh, Warner Ineos in West Valley, Utah. And they're, they're the only deal, dealer up that way and, and mm -hmm. for quite a long way. Somebody didn't want this. It wasn't uh, plush enough for them. Okay. It's a utilitarian <laughs> vehicle. I mean, we all know that, but some people want more. Oh, because it has the cloth seat. Yeah. That's actually but, more. That's more utilitarian. It's better. Yeah. I mean, if for, for for what I'm doing with it and what yeah. most people are doing it, that's perfect. It'll last forever. So the guy didn't want it, and I had ordered one. Had had I ordered 10 days before that, and exact same thing. This had a few more things than I had ordered, mm -hmm. but when they told me it was available, I Went snagged right in, it yeah. up right then. My favorite thing on this, which everyone doesn't get, is the L tracks yep. on the side going around. That is awesome. I don't know exactly what they call they it. They call it a utility belt. Utility belt. Sounds yeah. like something for Batman, but right. L track is what most of us know it by. So how how are you liking this? I love it. You love it? I mean I seriously I've owned over fifty vehicles in my life. Mm -hmm. Hands down, this is my favorite. Okay. It's just you know, it, it's super capable, mm -hmm. it's comfortable, mm -hmm. um gets it gets pretty good gas mileage. It's okay. like sixteen ish. Okay, that's not know? bad. No, no. Yeah. Not no. considering you've got like all terrain tires and all of that kind of stuff, some serious gear on board. Uh, sure. So walk us through the gear really quick. We'll start from your stuff. I'm sure you have a bunch of your stuff. I, I in do. Here. So so this is actually one of the very first things that we made. Um, it's just an under the seat bag. I mean, it's just a big hole and it comes with their tool kits underneath oh, like there. That. But you can see what's in here. We have three or four different you know configurations mm -hmm. of, of stuff that go underneath there. I like the, that. The passenger is is longer than the driver's side. But yeah. and then if you want, you can get you know custom name tags put on there i think i'm gonna add one of those to my tab we do just decorative stuff just to personalize it a trash bags a headrest of storage bags and mm -hmm. we do a lot of the insulated oh. window coverings for oh. the safari windows oh cool oh, so, the, so you do have safari windows nice. so these are held up by suction cups you can kind of kind of oh, see that right there and then uh i do the visor panels like this got those so Ineos doesn't come with a mirror. That's a little dirty. Yeah. But, um, if you don't have an Ineos, you're doing this stuff I, for I do, a bunch yeah. of different vehicles. Sprinters, Gladiators, yeah. Tacomas, yeah. all that. Okay. So, and then... Very the, nice. Let's see what's the in the back. The bug screens right here. Mm -hmm. Window coverings that, that go inside and out, insulated ones. And then yeah. just a couple different of our seat organizers here. Yeah. I don't keep anybody in my back seat, so I've got the big full one across the... Uh, across the back there. Uh, over there on the far side is a, a headrest first aid bag. The headrest first aid bag, it's detachable, so you just rip it right off. And, and because of the, uh, the L-Track system, we put clips on basically any of our products, and then you can just clip them into the uh, L-Track rings. This is nice, I like you got your recovery boards up here. Yeah. Uh, you're making a, a garbage bag. Yeah, garbage oh, bag, recovery gear bag, yeah. uh, stuff oh, cool. like that. Now this is really nice here. Yeah. So I think we've got someone from Diabolical right. here, but you've got a Diabolical, what is this called? So this is our slide floor and drawer and drawer system. So Rob's created some awesome bags that mm -hmm. actually fit within here because normally his bags are a little bit taller, but he's got some that he's made specifically for our slide floor and drawer system. This is a locking drawer, so it's lock in, lock out slides for one, mm -hmm. but also if you close it, it's key locked which then makes a secure thing. Yeah. You can put, you know, guns, you can put, <laughs> you know, whatever you, you want in there that needs to be secured. Drones, yeah. cameras, cool. you know, expensive stuff and like that, you can really secure right. it. Okay. And again, lock in, lock out slides. So they'll lock all the way out as well. Mm -hmm. These are 500 pound slides, 250 pounds per side. Okay. So you can put a lot of gear in here. Mm -hmm. The drawer top is removable. So if you just want a, you know, something to put your fridge on, to be able to slide in and out, you can take that drawer top off in about 30 seconds. Okay. And and use it as a drawer slide if you want. So you want to do that for a weekend, then put the drawer top back on. And just slide that fridge and, in and, and out. And slide the oh, fridge cool. in and you yeah, know, you that's can. Good. And then on top of that, this is our mid-deck system. So this is something that, that we're uh, just finished prototyping. Um, we've had Rob, you know, kind of be our counterpart in Right. prototyping a lot of stuff because getting our hands on these grenadiers has been kind of challenging. It's not easy yet. Yeah. So this is our mid-deck. 
Um, again, factory mounting locations, so you're not drilling, you're not modifying. We use the existing hardware to put this in here. Again, you know, you've got a lot of room up here for additional storage. You know, Rob's, you know, done great with organizing this and, and making bags and, and mm -hmm. stuff that, mm -hmm. stuff that he's already got, stuff that, you know, we can put on here. The, uh, the owner of Diabolic Link actually crawled up in here and <laughs> laid on this. Oh, he did. Okay. That was so, going to be my next question. <laughs> so I, can this, can you make this into kind of a makeshift bed or something? If I don't, I need have to be it, it, short enough yeah, to if, sleep if on there. But, if you were yeah. short enough or, yeah. you know, little, little or maybe kids the dog bed, or yeah, something. Dogs, yeah. You know, something okay, like cool. that. You could. Yeah. And, you know, again, you're kind of limited on max width here, yeah. but yes, you could, you know, okay. throw a little mattress up there. You, you could. The the drawer top actually, if you, you know, fold the seats all the way up, the drawer top makes a level surface here. Okay. So you could sleep that way. That way. Okay. You drop the seats you, down. Drop the seats down. Okay. And, and sleep all the way in that way. Okay. So how deep in does this go? So this is... Just up to the seats. And this this okay. is about 34 inches okay. from here. Okay. And then the seat drops, you know, you, you, you probably have, if you were over six feet, you might have to yeah. sleep a little kitty corner. Okay. But, but this, but this is level with the seat. But it is level drop. when they, when okay. The very cool. Drop. So what vehicles other than the Grenadier do you guys make this for right now? So we do a slide floor for Jeep Bronco Grenadier. Mm -hmm. Um, we do a security enclosure for the Jeep and Bronco. Okay. And then we're coming out with some Sprinter van stuff as Sprinter well. Sprinter van? Yeah. How about transit van? Transit is again if we can get our hands on it. Okay. Then we'll we can certainly okay, make cool. well, where are you guys located? We're in Salt Lake. Salt Lake? All right. We're awesome. Down the road from Rob here. So okay, like cool. I said, he's been instrumental in getting the yeah. prototype stuff for the yeah. Grenadier because he's had one available to us. <laughs> right, awesome. So I've noticed you've got what are you calling uh, these here? Uh, just the insulated window coverings. So, okay. And again, they're held on by suction cups mm -hmm. and stuff. Because there's there's no metal anywhere. Right, yeah. Usually we use the you know magnetic ones. And then I had the same thing in here and then I thought, hey, what if I uh just put Velcro in there, and then you can just Velcro. This is one of our uh, mm -hmm. uh, white pouches, but you know, it just good idea. Just sticks right there. Whenever you need it, just pull it off. And very cool. Let's take a look at the other stuff that Rob has here in the shop, Lola. So this is one of our, our newest products here. This is a, a rooftop tent ladder bag. Generally, the mm. the, the the bags that the ladders come in, mm -hmm. they're just you know maybe maybe not the best quality. Okay. Uh, not the most durable materials. Mm -hmm. So we we made this out of vinyl, so it's easy to clean. And then there's an inside liner, so it just helps the dur durability and stuff. Yeah. But the measurements are on the website. But this fits every ladder that we've come across so far. Whenever I see your stuff, I always think like you don't have to use it exactly for that. Exactly. I always think of something else. This, this table's kind of all of our Enios Grenadier stuff. And then we just, you know. Oh, okay. So right. here's all the window, the window shades. Window shades. This is under the seat stuff, yep. which I need to add one to my thing. Oh, you got it in gray. <laughs> Yep, it's my yep. favorite color. So these guys, Overland Gear Guy has a bunch of different bags or solutions for things. You guys will have to check out the website. What's the website? OverlandGearGuy.com. There you go. So we'll just go through here briefly, and I think Lola, you have a setup to show. I'll let you show some of what we got. I'll take over for it. All right, so let's go up in here and show like what we got. Okay. Well, yeah. I would say that my biggest complaint is always packing. Packing to go, to get on the road. Yeah. And so today, you have the perfect solution for me because in our coach, we have the cabinets. And it's always, how do I pack our clothes from, from the house to get in? And this was perfect. Yeah. These are Rob's yeah. packing cubes. So this yeah. is the medium size and this is the large size. Yeah. And this is going to be perfect yeah. for our cabinet. So yeah. I bought a set for Hank and yeah. a set for myself. I think yeah. we've got four. I think we've been using that. your gear since we met you a couple of years yeah. ago. We've got so. your window shades in there. We've yeah. got the trash bag in there. A ton of gear and some other bags already that we use that yep. just were perfect. They're durable, easy to clean, and they last a long time. I mean, they've never ripped, torn, or anything right. as much as we've used And we do have years, a lifetime so. warranty, which very rarely do we ever get anything mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that, that comes back. I mean, literally out of tens of thousands, we may get you know one or two products that come back. Yeah. Just need to be repaired. You know, it's, Everything's made in Utah. Oh, yep. Absolutely. Yep, yep. So, you know, I'm going to try to give you guys a quick run around here of, of everything that's in here, but there's a lot of stuff. There is. So I don't know if there's anything we want to focus on real quick. Well, there's even more stuff on the website. Right. I mean, we, yeah. we, we roll with what, you yeah. know, what we can and, and, and yeah. what we think people are going to, you know, get. Right. You know, it's, it's, we got 29 colors to choose from, so every one of those products in multiple colors, it's, you know, sometimes they have to, you know, order off the web to get, yeah. you know, get that. But we. We, we show up with a lot of colors, a lot yeah. of variety. And also you can get stuff 
custom made, right? Did Absolutely. Because you? you custom made our window shades. I have. Okay. You did mm -hmm. yeah, for yeah. the Ford Transit. Those are mm -hmm. great. I love it. You can. I mean, you can really tell the difference when I go to remove that. I feel the heat immediately. Let's you know. Let's say in that case, and we use it for like when we're in cold climates like this as well mm -hmm. to keep the heat inside. So, all right. So what we'll do is, do you want to show something else before we wrap up here? Um, We've been doing a lot of uh, like Blackstone Coleman mm -hmm. stoves, uh, Camp Chef, mm -hmm. different you know stove bags and stuff like that because. Yeah. Otherwise, they're just getting banged up and, 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 and beat up and stuff in, in the rig. You know, if you got them in the back of your truck. So we make a nice nice bag for that. And it's just, cool. They're, they're, you know, model specific. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. And of course, <clears throat> I think you got one of these, don't you? The, the Atlas pouches? Or maybe um, not. Um, no, I don't have one of these yet. You can put like six of the Rand McNally Atlases in there, which oh, is okay. really good. So yeah, this goes on the seat back. Yep. Um, you can throw a laptop in there if you want, okay. and then just miscellaneous you know, stuff in here. There's tons of different things to it organize. Is. So we'll point you guys to the website. If you check right here in the description, we'll have a link, all that kind of stuff. I think we have a discount code for you. We do, yep. Thanks a lot for that if you guys want to save some money. What shows are you going to be at? Uh, we will be at the uh, Overland Expo in Colorado coming up, mm -hmm. and then in October, I believe, Trail Hero in, in Southern Utah. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. And Thank congratulations you, man. on the Ineos. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm I love so it. Happy. I'm going to find a way to come see you and uh, take it out there. We can, we can do a full video on it. All right? Cross some gnarly hills and play in the mud. Absolutely. That sounds like fun. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. We're out of here. Peace. Thank you.